We're here at Nipissing University today talking to university students. Now, university students are known for being notoriously smart, but when paired with a serious face, a seemingly ridiculous question can take on a positive tone. Let's take to the hallways and find out what we get from your very own local university students. Do you think it seems unfair that Nipissing students don't have to pay to use the new library when Canada or students have to use uh, pay a small monthly fee? Um, I believe, I thought that all of our tuition, if it's including our tuition, the use is uh, for our library. To be honest with you, I wasn't even sure. I, I didn't know that Canada or students had to pay. Yeah, it's unfair. So what would you do to fix the problem, to fix that, you know, that unfairness? I don't know, just make it free for everybody. I don't see why Canada or people have to pay, whereas Snipissing don't. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, a lot of the books I just signed out of the library a couple days ago had Kendor and Nipissing names on them uh, printed, so I don't see why Canador has to pay extra to use books that are for both people. That's ridiculous. A library is free and for everybody. That's what public libraries are for. Nobody has to pay it ever. I think, I think the whole thing is really iffy. I mean, you have a university and then you have a college and they ha do things together, but then they do things separately. Either do it all together or do it all separately. Uh, doesn't seem very equitable. No, it doesn't seem to split the resource in that sense, not really. Okay. I didn't even realize that. No, I, I think that's unfair, for sure. So Canada had to make budget cuts last year. Another budget cut they've made this year is that they're now filtering water out of the pond, putting it into the tap water system. Do you think it's a little unsanitary? I guess so. <laughs> yes. That's kind of gross. I don't know. It's fine, as long as they filter it and stuff. I know for a fact that uh, a few of my friends went, s went for a swim in the pond. I think it's delicious. I personally like um, the bird droppings. I think it adds a little something extra. That's disgusting. They said they didn't like it or it was scummy, and so I'm not too sure about trying to drink that water now. Very unsanitary. They can't do that. They need to clean it, chlorine it. They can't really take it out of the pond. That's really unsanitary. They did that? Yeah, they're doing it right now. I'm just curious, where is their money going? You know, if they are so under budget, maybe they need to look at where their money is going and actually be like, okay, well, what things can we cut rather than cutting all the some these programs and then draining the pond, which I completely disagree with. Yeah, I would question what's going on with the system, actually. Of course, the water is disgusting. You don't think that it should be drank in any way, no matter what's done to it? Well, I guess all water at some point can be purified to the point of drinking water, but I wouldn't be surprised if Canador is not doing the adequate uh, purification that's needed for that water. As long as we can still go swimming in it, I think it's fine. Okay, another thing going on, um, are you aware of there, there's a new ban actually that prevents Canador students from talking to Nipsing students while on the Nip side of campus. Um, what do you think of that? I've got a lot of friends from Canador, that's kind of weird. I think that would be a little bit unnecessary, yes. Um, I don't really see uh, a big benefit to uh, having that kind of thing. Does that seem a little excessive? That is very excessive. <laughs> like, you know, just be respectful and everything, it's good. Actually, that's ridiculous. It's real. Um, like me, myself, I'm a Canadora graduate. I'd want to talk to the Canadora students. Um, they're allowed over here, we're allowed over there. That's really unreasonable. Uh, actually, this is the first I've heard about it, but it seems like kind of a silly ban, to be honest. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Is that going on just inside the school or in the library as well? It's just inside the Nipissing campus. Well, I don't see why that's being done. I don't understand. I'm talking to Mr. George J. Zitterook today. What do you think of college students? He thinks we're some kind of joke. Uh, Nipsing president, Lovely Lovett Doust, and uh, George Burton, who's Canador's president, they just announced their engagement, actually. Um, do you have any happy messages to send to the new couple? Congratulations. Uh, congratulations, I guess. First I heard of that, too, so. Perfect. Congratulations. Um, if you have roommates, be respective. That's all. That's all. Oh, very nice. Congratulations, and uh, enjoy a long marriage. Well, actually, I got married in August, and everyone kept telling me, uh, don't go to bed angry, so don't go to bed angry. Perfect. Canada College, right now, they're in the process of suing Nipissing um, because the, they think that the logos look suspiciously similar. What are your thoughts?
Um, I think it's fine. It doesn't really matter. They're different enough. <laughs> I never noticed that before. No, maybe the font? I guess they are kind of similar. I, I don't know if I'd um, suit them for it, but I don't think they look similar at all. So I think that's stupid to sue them. I'm sorry. I think we share the same building. I think we can share other things. And last question, I guess. How does it feel to go to a university that has the word pissing in its name? <laughs> uh, I didn't even really noticed before, to be honest with you. It's awesome. It's awesome. We like to drink a lot and get pissed, so it's good. Never thought of it that way, but now I'm going to go to the bathroom. Thanks. No comment. Don't use it that way. Like, I don't think of it in that sense. <laughs> Well, I've been here for four years, and this will be my last of the education program, so I must like it because I've been here this long, so I guess so. Oh, no, a lake. It's also a lake here, so it's just like Mississippi. He must work out. <laughs>